Hello friends! Today we are going to be looking at a clock and we are going to be putting the numbers on a face of a clock. Hmm. Let's talk about the clock for a minute. The clock has two hands. The tallest hand is called the minute hand and it goes around the clock once every hour or every 60 minutes. The other, the shorter hand, is called the hour hand and it only goes around the clock once every 12 hours. It points to the hour. We have the hour hand pointing to the 1 and the minute hand pointing to the 12. This shows us 1 o'clock. If I move the minute hand around one more time, all the way around, it takes one hour to go around. It's not one o'clock anymore. Now it is two o'clock. Let's count all of the numbers that are on the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, what number do you think is hiding? <gasps> You're right, it's 12. Well, we are going to draw all of these numbers on our clock face. Did you know that the front of the clock is called a face? Isn't that funny? The clock has a face and it has hands. The number that is at the top of our clock, do you remember it? Let's peek. It's the number 12. So I'm going to draw the number 12. What is the next number? It's a 1 and then comes a 2 and then a 3, 4, 5 and at the very, very bottom is the number 6. We have 12 at the top and 6 on the bottom. Now I know you know which number comes next. It's a seven, and then an eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then we come right back up to twelve again. Let's count these numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I do the numbers the correct way. And I want to show you another way, but it is going to be wrong. Are you ready for the wrong way? <gasps> All right, we're going to start up, off with 12 at the top. And then I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh dear, what's wrong? Did you notice that I smooshed them together far too close? All of the numbers are an even spacing away from each other. And so when we are drawing our clock, we want to make sure that we draw them an even space away. Often your clock is going to have some little ticks on it or some little lines to help or guide you. Today, you are going to be practicing drawing the numbers on the face of your clock. I've put my clock in a page protector so that I can write on it and then wipe it away and start all over again. I'm going to move my clock right up to 2 o'clock. Do you think that I can show 2 o'clock on my clock? Mm-hmm. I am going to start by drawing the tall minute hand pointing all the way up to the 12. And then I am going to draw the shorter hour hand pointing to the 2. When I look at the clock, I know it says 2 o'clock because the shorter hand, the hour hand, is pointing to the 2. I can't even really see what this number is because the minute hand has covered it. I am going to write down here 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock or 2 of the clock looks like this. We have a 2 for 2 o'clock and two zeros to show 
o'clock. The face of my clock shows two o'clock and my digital clock shows two o'clock. I'm going to erase those and I'm going to try another time. And I'm going to go around again and this time I'm going to count by five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Our clock is now showing, do you know what time? Four o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to the four and the minute hand is pointing to the twelve. I am going to draw four o'clock on my clock. I am going to draw my minute hand pointing and kind of covering the twelve. And I am going to draw my shorter hour hand to the four on my digital clock going to look like this. Four, zero, zero. This means that it's four o'clock with no minutes at all. I could have, we could have some minutes there and it could go all the way from one to fifty-nine because there are sixty minutes. Let's try this again. I am going to erase my clock and I am going to move my clock over here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Now it's 5 o'clock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. What time is it now? The hour hand is pointing to the 6 and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. I'm going to draw my minute hand pointing to the 12 and my shorter hour hand pointing to the 6. This shows 6 o'clock. It's 6 without any minutes at all. And we're going to make it look like it is 9 o'clock. For it to be 9 o'clock I need my hour hand to point right up to the top to the 12 and my minute hand to point to the left and show our nine. What time is it? Nine o'clock. When we're writing nine o'clock on our digital clock, we draw a nine and two zeros, showing that there are no minutes. There's 60 minutes in an hour, but it's nine and nothing else. No more minutes. Class, thank you so much for telling time with me and for writing numbers on your clock today. Remember that 12 is at the top, 6 is at the bottom, 9 is on the left, and 3 is on the right. When we draw our numbers, we make sure to keep them evenly spaced all the way from 1 to 12. I'll erase it so you can see it. There it is. Take some time practicing today. Have a great day class. Bye-bye.